Hi! In this video, we will cover the functions that are important for the buyer. Working with purchase orders and requests for quotations. Working with critical on hand and requirements reports. Managing purchase terms of items. The procurement section of MRP Easy is designed for the purchasing manager. The Purchase Orders tab shows an overview of all purchase orders. The table shows information such as the status of the purchase order, the cost, when it's expected, when it was ordered, and more. It's possible to choose which columns are displayed and in what order. Plus, the report can be viewed in terms of purchased items to get an overall line-by-line -line summary. Sending and tracking purchase orders. To manually create a purchase order, click plus and start a new purchase order. The status of a purchase order, which has not been ordered yet, is new PO. If you select a vendor, MRP Easy will highlight all the items that can be purchased from this vendor. And conversely, if you choose an item, MRP Easy will auto-fill its vendor or highlight them, if there are several. Once you choose the vendor and enter the quantity of an item, the price will be automatically filled, according to the saved purchase terms. It is also possible that different lines have different dates of when items are expected to be delivered. To send the purchase order, download the PDF or have MRP Easy open your email client with a pre-filled email. In the bottom part of the purchase order, it is possible to track its progress in detail. Once you fill the Order Date field and save, the status of the purchase order is changed to Ordered. Once you fill the Shipment Date field and save, the status of the purchase order is changed to Shipped. Receiving a purchase order in full. Reporting full receipt works by entering the arrival date on the purchase order and clicking Save. The items are taken into stock and the status of the PO is updated to Received. Partially receiving a purchase order. On the purchase order, the field Expected Quantity serves a dual purpose while receiving this field shows how many items will be counted as arrived into stock. It's pre-filled to the full quantity. To report a partial receipt, change the quantity in the Expected Quantity field from the full quantity to your actual received quantity. Then enter the Arrival Date and Save. The software counts the received items into stock and keeps the rest open, still waiting to be received. Only once all the items are received, the status of the purchase order updates to Received. If the person reporting the receipt is a stock worker, then for this user, it's possible to hide prices and only grant View and Update rights to the purchase orders. Booking items automatically to where they are demanded. If you manually create a purchase order to buy items for a specific manufacturing order or a customer order, then you must know that the software automatically does not book the items to their respective orders. It does not do it because it does not know what your order of priority is. To book the materials to where they are needed, there are two options. Option 1. In the purchase order, click on the Book Items Automatically button. Then the software will automatically try to book these, starting from where the items are needed earliest. Option 2. Book the materials from inside the manufacturing order or the customer order. These options are discussed in the videos for the sales manager and the production manager. Sending a request for a quotation. To send a request for a quotation to your vendor, click Plus to start a new purchase order. 
There are two alternative statuses to choose when creating the request for a quotation. Which one to choose depends on your specific situation. These options are New PO and RFQ. With status New PO, the software expects these items to arrive into stock in the future. This can be very useful for the sales and production managers for better overview and planning. However, this method is not effective if you need to send a request for a quotation to several vendors. If you choose status RFQ, then the software will not expect these items to arrive in stock yet and you can easily duplicate it for several vendors. To send the request for quotation, download the PDF or have MRP Easy open your email client with a pre-filled email. To send the RFQ to another vendor, just click the Copy button, change the vendor on the new RFQ, and send. To turn the request for quotation into a purchase order, change the status from RFQ to New PO and save. Now these items are expected into stock and can be booked for manufacturing and sales. Seeing demand for items that need to be purchased. There are two reports that show what items need to be procured, critical on hand and requirements. Items show up in these reports automatically when they are below safety stock levels, planned manufacturing orders are in need for these parts or materials, or your customers have ordered some products that you must procure. The critical on hand report shows total demand for all items, which are below minimal stock value and need reordering. Let's click on the shopping cart to create the purchase order. Automatically, the whole purchase order is pre-filled with vendor information, parts, quantities, prices, and lead times. Plus, it scans the whole list of everything that must be ordered and will put all required items from the same vendor on the same purchase order. Once we save it, the items are booked to where they were demanded and they disappear from the report. The Requirements report shows, line by line, how many parts are required by source of demand, when they are required, and when is the last date the purchase must be placed. Clicking on the shopping cart button will start a purchase order for purchasing the specific item. Once we save, the items are booked to where they were demanded and they disappear from the report. For fast and effective production planning, lead time, and cost estimation, it is crucial to save the purchase terms of items into MRP Easy. Secondly, and for the comfort of the purchaser, if purchase terms are entered, MRP Easy will automatically pre fill purchase orders, which saves a lot of time and prevents mistakes. For individual items, the purchase terms can be entered and updated in the Items Details page. This is described in detail in the video, which describes entering your parts and products into MRP Easy. Alternatively, in the Procurement Vendors section, it is possible to import purchase terms from a spreadsheet. There are detailed instructions available in the User Manual and the Quick Help section. Updating Purchase Terms If an item has just one purchase term, then MRP Easy automatically keeps it updated according to the last price you purchased the item. It's possible to update a vendor's purchase terms in bulk when you open the vendor's reports and find the report Purchase Terms. This is very useful if your items have several purchase terms or if a vendor provides a new price list for all items. In this video, we demonstrated how to work with vendors in MRP Easy. To learn more about the functionality of MRP Easy, please see our other videos. Thanks for watching.